In this video, we are going to begin the conditional statements. As in the previous video, when we wrote a basic transact SQL code, it was only executing the code line by line. But let's take an example if I want to execute some of these statements on a particular condition only. In that time, we can go for these conditional statements as these are the statements which impose the conditions on the transact SQL statements. So whenever I want to write a basic condition, I can go for the if keyword and after this if, I can write a condition and that will return a boolean true or false. You can write a condition by using various operators like comparison or logical operators and they will definitely return you a boolean value only. If your condition is true, then the statements which you will write in under the if will get executed. But in case it is returning false, then there are two options. First is you can add a chaining condition using else if that will only be checked when the previous condition is false. And of course it is optional. It's all, it all depends on your requirement. If the first condition is true, then the statements under it will get executed. If it is false, then you can add multiple conditions and if again those conditions will return a true, then the statements will get executed. But if none of the conditions are getting matched, you can optionally add the else keyword. Else keyword will only get executed when all the conditions are returning a false. So let's get started with the implementation. But if you are a non-programmer, don't worry as here we are going to discuss all the things uh, from the scratch as these are the things which you will definitely find in any programming language. So if you are, a, if you are from a programming background, here you are going to get a different uh, syntax for writing these statements. So mind that and if you are not from a programming background, no worries, we are going to begin it from the very start. So let's get started with the implementation now. So in order to add the condition in our TSQL block, I have just added few more lines in our previous program. So again, I am taking a name and salary from the table TBL employees for the particular employee. And rather than printing the salary here, I want to assign them a grade. And on the basis of the salary, I am doing some grading system. So for doing that, I have taken a Again, a variable called grade care one means a single character can be assigned to that. So right after this query, as you can see, I have used this if keyword for uh, passing the condition. So at the rate cell greater than 50,000 means if the salary is greater than 50,000, what I did, I just assigned value A to the grade and then later I will print like name is in grade A, right? But if the salary of that particular employee is not greater than 50,000, then even if you want to do something, you can add that after the if. But as I say, it is completely optional to pass multiple condition. One if is sufficient if it is satisfying your requirement. But for this requirement, I want to add some more conditions. So for that, I have used this else if right here. So I have just added one more condition using else if and make sure this condition will only be checked when the previous if condition will be false. So if salary is greater than 35, it's, if it's not greater than 50, this condition will be false and then only it will come under this condition where it will check like whether this salary is greater than 35,000 or not. If it is greater than 35,000, I will assign B to the grade and if both of these conditions are false, you can see I have used this else to assign C in the grade. So as for this particular employee means for this particular condition, you can see everywhere I have used this delimiters begin end, begin end and here also begin end. All right. So as I said earlier in the very first program, this begin end will, end will always be treated as the delimiter. So if I will execute so on the basis of the salary of 105, I will get the grade. 
So when I assign, you can see Tom is in grade C. All right. So let me increase the font size a bit. So as you can see now, Tom is in grade C. Now, if I want to change the employee, like 101, Anadi is in grade A. Similarly, randomly, let me pass some more values. All right. So like this, you can just keep checking the different values and the conditions will be printed as per the uh, records existing in your database table.